Good morning, my fit friends, and welcome to today's video. I decided after trying out Wannable, if you guys haven't seen that review video, click uh, up at the top right here and go check that out. I thought I would try the fitness side of it because I am all about fit here at Frugal Fit Mom. I'm training for an Ironman after all. Active wear is right up my alley. So I thought I would check it out. This is completely unsponsored. They did not reach out to me. They did not send me anything for free. They did not waive my styling fee. None of that. So this will be a 100% honest review for you. Now, if you guys like anything that you see and you wanna try out the Wannable Fitness, I do have an affiliate link down below. I believe it gives me a credit and then it waives your $20 styling fee. So Wannable typically sends you seven items. If you don't like any of them, put them all in the prepaid bag and mail them back. If you keep all seven items, they give you 20% off everything. So here's what I have decided about Wannable. I think the quality is excellent. Very, very high. I feel like the prices are a little steep. But if you are willing to invest in a piece or two, you can get some items you can't find anywhere else. Let's jump right into it. The first item, Glider Sports Bra. Now, I, you can buy Glider straight from their website. They are a very expensive brand, high quality stuff. I really liked this sports bra. I liked the way it fit. The cross back was super comfy. The only thing I didn't like is that they did not come with any padding whatsoever, which is odd because there's some slits right here on the inside for some pads, and it's almost like someone took them out and then sent them to me, which is weird. For your natural girls like me, I do appreciate some padding. And so that was the only thing I didn't like about it. If it had the pads in there, I maybe would have kept this, although I do consider it to be fairly expensive for a sports bra, especially when my favorite Under Armour sports bras are like 25. Uh, it's probably like a medium support. If it had the pads, it would definitely be more support than without. Of course you can put in your own, but then I gotta go find my own anyway. Let me show you guys my most favorite, and I am definitely keeping these item in the box. I have been wanting camo workout leggings forever, forever. I didn't care what color, I didn't care what brand as long as they were flattering. Oh my gosh, these are fantastic. They are so soft. I cannot figure out why these are so soft. Polyester spandex blend. They're, everything I got is, is in a size small today. They looked a little small out of the box, but they stretched beautifully. They have pockets on the sides. This gray camo is like, everything I've ever wanted. My husband's even a little jealous and that is saying something because he already has camo workout pants. I love these, I love these. They are pricey, I'm not going to lie. But fortunately, I do have a little bit of credit which is going to knock the price down significantly so I'm totally keeping them. Next up is this green hoodie. Overall, I like it. I like the zip hoodies. I'm kind of leaning towards those lately. It's very high quality. Everything is very thick, well made, well put together. It has zip pockets on it, which is awesome. The only problem with this is this is more of a fashion activewear piece instead of a functional activewear piece. And because I live in the cold climate of Idaho where I wear jackets all summer long, I don't typically like these dangly uh, ties around the neck because they flop around when I'm trying to run. I'm a runner, these are not gonna work. At $60 for a zipper hoodie that I'm not gonna be able to run in is probably gonna be a no for me, although I feel like it fits well, it's cute. I do wanna say I've seen this MPG brand at like TJ Maxx before, so if you dig, you could probably find something similar. Okay, this next piece is from Shape Activewear. I got a couple of pieces from them. I think I requested this one. I love it. It's just a basic long sleeve workout tee, but it has a, some really nice seaming on it and some really pretty cutouts in the back that I like. The thumb holes are the perfect spot for my long arms, which is pretty rare. It fits like a traditional small, as I would expect. It's very, very soft. But you know, like I said, let's just go with Everything from Wannable is expensive. I have very little that is less than $50 in this box. 
Okay, next up, let's talk about the other pair of leggings they sent me. Your basic black, which is fine. I can wear black leggings, no problem, with this cool laser cutout in the back and a little bit of mesh. I don't particularly like these on me. I think they look okay. The fabric feels so much different than the camo ones, even though it's also a polyester spandex blend. I'm not sure why they feel so different because the camo ones are so buttery soft and these are not quite as soft and feel thinner and less supportive. I'm not sure why that is. So these have a small hidden pocket in the front and then a thin seam across the top. They're just okay. I'm not in love with them. I definitely don't love them as much as my Victoria's Secret workout leggings. So I probably will not be keeping those. Next up, the tank top also from Shape Activewear. I like it. It's just your basic black tank top. It's got some really pretty like laser cut out meshy stuff in the back, which is fun. It's nothing special. I have some other tanks that I like a little bit better that I paid less for, you know, but you know, if you, if you need a basic black workout tank, I think it's got a couple of interesting details that make it more special than something from Old Navy. Okay, the last piece is from Coliseum, which I've never heard before. I really like this top. It has this asymmetrical zip neck into like a mock turtleneck. It is so soft and thick. I don't know why it's this soft. What is this made out of? Oh, polyester spandex mix. So it's so weird. These are all about the same percentages, but some are so, so soft and some are not. It's so interesting. But these have the nice thumb holes, super long sleeves, which is great for my monkey arms. The seaming across the shoulders is really flattering. Uh, I like this. I don't have anything really like it. And so that's a little bit tempting. So I got to figure out how much I want to spend. I buy everything in the box and get the discount. I am looking at $273 for seven items, 40-ish dollars an item, which to be truthful is a little steep for me. Like I said, I typically pay about 20 to $25 for my favorite sports bras. I've gotten all of my favorite workout leggings for around 30 to $35 when there's a big sale. I love the Victoria's Secret ones. They're typically 70, but I typically get them usually get them when they're on clearance. And then usually workout tanks, I pay very, very little for. I'll pick them up at Ross or TJ Maxx or Running Warehouse or Amazon for like a couple, a couple bucks, like 10 bucks or less. So I will say for me, it was okay. I think it was worth it because I got these. I will be keeping these. I'm undecided on the rest. So tell me what you guys think about the other pieces. I will say, I didn't feel that the note from the stylist was very personable because I specifically talked about how tall my torso is. I talked about training for the Ironman and you know, she didn't talk about all of that. She talked about the yoga mat, running around town, you know, hitting up weights in the gym. And I was like, this is none of these things are what I talked about <laughs> in my note to her. So do you guys want me to try out some other fashion boxes. I have another one that's supposed to be a discount one that we could try out. If you guys liked the video, hit me up with a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see anything else that I do. And I will see you guys in the next video.